Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a very, very, very special piano. This is a Yamaha S400. This piano measures six feet, three inches from the very front to the very back, and this is a handmade piano. This was built in 1994, and although most Yamahas are made with CNC machines and kind of mass produced, these are of a completely different genre. I mean, these things are like this is what competes with like the Kawai Shigeru with a lot of the bigger Steinways, Steinway L's um, and the stretched A's. They're just such amazing, amazing pianos. It's really hard to compare something like an S400 to like a Yamaha C3, which would be the same, basically the same size as C3 is a six foot one, but you know, kind of the same size, uh, but the conservatory version, this is, it's just a totally different beast. I mean, you don't typically hear Yamahas that sound like this, with that kind of bell-like sound. And a lot of that has to do with one, totally different hammers, I'm gonna get to that in a second. And two, the fact that these are wet sand casted plates. Most Yamaha pianos, actually pretty much all of them, unless they're the handmaids, all have B-Pro plate designs, vacuum pressurized plate designs, which means they sound a little bit more metallic-y, a little brighter. These have a velvety, sweet, warm tone, but definitely tons of power. Now this particular piano came to us because somebody here in Mesa, Arizona uh, had this piano. They got it from their aunt, they inherited it from their aunt, and it had a disc clavier player system on it, and he had a power surge, and it surged the energy and it fried the, pl the player system. And so for three years, this dude was waiting in line with the insurance company to get paid for this to get his piano replaced. He eventually did, we got the piano. Well, when we got it, that player system was obviously shot. That was the whole point of it going through the insurance company. So we took the player system off. This Dislevier is one of those ones that had the player or the pedals that move up and down. So there was a big box on the back of the player system or on the lyre. So we took that off, got new pedal rods, fix that up. Then I go into the action and this dude really used his player system. So there was a lot of grooves in the hammers. Honestly, as I started shaping the hammers, I just decided this is such a high-end piano. We need to get the exact replacement hammers. So I texted a buddy of mine who is a top Yamaha technician, uh, nation, national technician, and he was able to get me the exact hammers, shanks, and flanges that go on this exact piano from Yamaha and I can't tell you how pumped I am. We got them in, they just needed a little bit of pre-voicing, very minor stuff, but they turned out amazing. This thing is velvety, velvety smooth. The cabinet itself, we buffed out the entire cabinet, got all those surface scratches out, looks brand new, same with all the hardware. There's no cracks in the soundboard, ridge, or pin block. This thing is perfect. Now let me pull the action, and I'm gonna show you those hammers inside. All right, so now that I got the action out, you can see all these brand new hammer shanks and flanges. Like I said, this guy played the piano a lot, so when that happens, you start to get these really big grooves in here. He also had somebody needle the hammers a lot. It probably was because his room was probably pretty pretty loud and live. You know, that happens with like hardwoods. Honestly, a room like this is pretty live because it has these hardwoods all over the walls and hard floors. Um, but we have acoustic ceilings in here, so it's a little different than in a house. But I'm assuming he had pretty a pretty live room, and so he had a technician go in and needle these hammers just to make them softer, to make the piano more warm, and I just hated them. I thought they sounded really bad, so we replaced them. So these are the brand new ones. This is exactly what goes on this piano um, when the piano is new. So these are very expensive, very high-end hammers. We got them in, they got the um, basically the flange, the shank, and the hammer all in one. So we got all new knuckles too. So really all that playing he was doing with the player system has all been replaced at this point. All this stuff that would get worn out has all been replaced um, and it's in really, really good shape. I also shaped these hammers um, and just made them to the strings and it just turned out perfect. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.